Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? Que bola, bitches. Back. I'm here with the card of the day for Monday, August 19th, 2024. Happy full moon in Aquarius. Let's do some things first. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyrighted, and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. With that being said, um tonight is the full moon in aquarius community ritual it's going to start at 8 p.m promptly at an eastern standard time the cutoff time is 7 p.m eastern standard time we're focusing on a lot of different of intentions but again if you feel led to do so i do a private ceremony it ranges between four hours to eight hours depending on how fast um i do the things or how fast the candles burn I don't show every part of the ritual for, you know, not everything's for public consumption. But what I will do is I do a video of the candles that I use. I do a video of the astrological breakdown of what's happening with this full moon, the planets involved, the timing, the aspects, and also fixed stars if there's any. And then as well as that, I do a reading for, uh, for you guys as well. I record all that. I upload it on a unlisted YouTube link and I send it out to those participants for I am the altar members for the community ritual subscriptions or for those of you who just exchange energy with me. Again, it's $15.51 per person. I do have an option for a subscription, which is $25 a month. So you save about six, seven bucks. It's a $25 a month subscription for 12 months. So you can do that as well. Totally up to you. Because I know maybe not every full moon and new moon community ritual is going to resonate with you but this is the full moon in aquarius community ritual it doesn't mean for those of you who are aquarians to join no it just means that that's the that's the um the zodiac sign the full moon falls under it is also known as a super sturgeon blue moon this month according to wiccan and pagan traditions so there is that um but if you'd like to join, 7 p.m. is the cutoff time. Go to the uh, website. Link is in the bio. TheAlmightyPineapple.com or ReadingsByVida.com. Hit shop, then hit spirit element as the category, then scroll until you see community ritual. So the card that is going to be coming from the Prism Oracle deck. Um, and again, tapping into your intuition with the magic of color. Uh, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone was born with intuition and empathy. Not everyone listens to it, as you can see the state of the world. With that being said, this is the card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 96 hours as directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and you connect whatever you want because that's none of my fucking business. Get it? Got it? Go good all right so other than that tonight is the full moon community ritual thank you again to everybody who joined last week's community reading i appreciate y'all i love y'all so much i have a lot of spiritual stuff i need to do this week mondays are my busiest days my favorite food my 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 favorite food my favorite food my favorite food my favorite food that's me saying a prayer to all the spirits that I walk with me on my african and indigenous side and thank you to my creator my guardian angels my archangels my elementals the ascended masters that i work with heavily especially the women um the female feminine energy that i work with hecate i am a daughter of hecate i was a practicing you know pagan and witch for 20 plus years as well i don't i don't just do my african indigenous side it's very obvious white passing right europeans in there uh so all my ancestors get along um we made sure of that that took years to do but i made sure that um i'm a daughter of hecate I work with Kuan Yin. Um, that's how I started to learn how to love myself. And these are Ascended Masters that came to me. I didn't look for them. Um, again, sometimes that's the best way. If you want something or you need something in your life, if you're looking for elders, if you're looking for a practitioner to work with, if you're looking for a life coach, a therapist, a soul coach, whatever that is for you, sometimes you just have to sit, attend to your altars because every culture has an ancestral practice. I'm an ancestral rituals practitioner first and foremost. Attend to your ancestral altars, however that is for you, whatever that looks like for you. If you don't know how to build an altar, I do have an old webinar that's still available for purchase. Um, it's called Ancestors Among Us. Um, that way I teach you how to deal with your ancestors in every lineage. It's multifaceted. It's not just one lineage over the other in all lineages. Um, to the best of my human ability. Remember, this was a couple years back, but still very effective. I also have a recording. Oof, there we go. I also have a recording for Meet Your Ancestors Guided Meditation. I have a recording. I no longer offer guided meditations anymore. 
to meet an ancestor, to meet a spirit guide, or to meet an animal guide. I was guided to take that off. That's only available in the programs Love Thyself, Love and Know Thyself, and um, Soulful Mastery Entrepreneur Program. You can buy the recording. Um, I think it's $44, and you can use that to connect with an ancestor. Or if you're interested in joining Love Thyself, Love and Know Thyself, or the Soulful Mastery Entrepreneur Program, you can connect with your ancestors with part of that program. Um, yes, I offer guided meditations to meet an ancestor, a spirit guide, an animal guide in those programs only. So there's a lot of information there. If you want more information about the programs, let me know. The card of the day is called Rejection. Hello, I love this card because rejection is protection. That means that something and better was waiting for you, that whatever it is that you wanted is not necessarily what you needed. When doors close on you, why are you trying to open that door? It's a closed door. Rejection is protection. I'm going to tell you that again. Rejection is protection. Especially God's protection, goddesses' protection, creator's protection, spirit's connection, protection, whatever that is for you. Okay, so rejection. Try to reframe the pain of rejection and consider what whatever you rejected you wasn't meant to be part of your life at this time, whether it was be a person, job, or something else. Some even say that rejection is protection. So even though it may really hurt right now, know that something better is waiting for you and trust that whatever is meant for you is on its way. So if there's a relationship that the doors keep closing, why do you keep on locking, going, going against what the universe is providing you and taking a battering ram and ramming down that door? I don't care how many candles you light. I don't care how many c practitioners you consult. I don't care how many religious elders you ask. If there is something in your life that is not for your destiny, that's not going to work out for your highest good, it's not going to work out. I don't care how many things you do. I don't care how much brujeria you try. I don't care how much witchcraft you try to change the alchemy or the the alchemy of that situation. If it's not for you and your highest good, it's not going to elevate your soul. It's not going to elevate your humanity. It's not going to enlighten your mind. It's not going to enrich your body. And it's definitely not going to help elevate your spirit. I don't care how many fucking things you do. I don't care how many protection bags. I don't care how many mojo bags. I don't care how many fucking spells you do. I don't care. It's not going to work. Things are closing because they're not meant for you. Doors are closing. Relationships are ending because it's not meant for you. You keep holding on to old shit thinking it's going to tell you where it is that you need to be. And then you're going to realize that all you needed was to be free of a situation or free from a person. But again, you don't have to listen to me. Ask your, ancestor about, ask, ask your ancestors about it. Ask your guardian angels. Ask your creator to reveal that to you. But I hope you understand that sometimes things are happening to you. They're not, you know... So you can elevate. And some things that are happening to you are actually helping you, you know, they're for you in the long run. It may not, I mean, you may not like it now, but it's happening for you in the long run. Okay. So I hope that helps. And I hope that puts some things in perspective. And I hope I made you feel better. I have very limited spots available for the remainder of August. If you like to work with me, I would love to have you. But as always, please follow your intuition, work with any spiritual advisor. Even that means you do not work with me. I love you and have a great fucking day.